Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a full and complete factory reset and restore of your Windows 11 computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. As the name implies, we're going to be completely removing everything off our computer and reinstalling it as it would come from the factory. So basically, in, in a sense, it's going to be a full format of our computer. It's going to clear everything, and we're going to be starting from scratch. And by scratch, I mean we will have a working Windows 11 operating system, but it won't have any of our previous personal files on there. So make sure you have it all backed up somewhere before you proceed. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by right clicking on the Windows Start button and you want to select the settings. You want to select System and then on the right side you want to scroll down underneath Recovery, Reset and go ahead and select that. Reset this PC, choose to keep or remove your personal files then reinstall Windows. Go ahead and select Reset PC. So underneath Choose an option, select Remove Everything removes all of your personal files, apps, and settings. Go ahead and select that. This will take some time. It's going to begin the process here. How would you like to reinstall Windows? I normally recommend selecting a local reinstall. And go ahead and select Next. Again, make sure you have everything backed up before you proceed here. And it's going to begin. And you can see resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. Remove any changes made to settings, removes all apps and programs, and reinstalls Windows from this device. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Go ahead and select reset. And this will begin the process here, so just please be patient. This will take some time to run.
Okay, so go ahead and select your correct country from this list and select yes. Select the correct keyboard layout and then yes again. If you want to add a second keyboard layout, you can. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and select skip. You want to accept the license agreement. You want to name your PC here. Doesn't matter what you want to name it, just name it your name, I guess. And then select next. So it needs to be no more than 15 characters and no spaces or special characters. So I'm just going to call it John and then next. Give it a moment here. So how would you like to set up your device? You can set up for personal use or set up for work and school. I'm going to set up for personal use and then I'm going to select next. So if you want to sign in with a Microsoft account, you can. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and turn off our internet. And then we're going to select the back arrow. And then we're going to go ahead and try and create a local account. So if you have an Ethernet connection to your computer, you want to disconnect it. Or if, if you have your router, you want to go ahead and turn that off. And I'm going to go ahead and switch that off here. And give me a moment. And I'm going to select set for personal use. And then next. Again, go ahead and enter in your computer name. Keep in mind, I just turned off my network connection here. And now I'm just going to go ahead and enter in a computer name. It has to be different than your other name. And then select Next. Go ahead and create a password if you choose to do so. Otherwise, just go ahead and select Next. Again, I just turned off my network connection and went back a couple steps. And now you see it's letting me create a local user account on my computer instead of a Microsoft account. So that's the only way you got to do it. You have to actually disconnect from the Internet and then Microsoft will let you use a local account. So you can go ahead and choose your privacy settings at this point. Usually I unselect almost all, if not all, of these options, just in my own personal preference, and then I select Accept.
And there you go, guys. Simple as that. And you can go ahead and install your applications, your programs, whatnot, create new user accounts. But Windows 11 has been reinstalled, a clean factory install. So pretty straightforward process. Now, if you did what I did and created a local user account, your Ethernet cable, or if you turned off your router, you're going to have to go ahead and turn that back on and then connect to your Wi-Fi network or Ethernet connection, whatever is your situation. But pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.